Oh, I like that. Did we date? No. Did I date your sister? No. You know, don't worry about me, old man. I'm gonna set up a little shanty in the equipment room at school. Hey, say, I know you probably wonder where I'm gonna sleep, but you don't have to worry about that either. You know, I figure I can use a wrestling mat. Smell like feet, but you know, that aroma usually make me doze off quicker anyway. <laughs> Now, do you play or don't you? Yeah, man, I play an instrument. It's just not the trumpet. Matter of fact, it's kind of embarrassing. Oh, come on, now, how embarrassing can it be? It's not sure. like you play the tuba. <laughs> oh, son. Good morning, gentlemen. Coach Robinson? Wow, you look great. <laughs> Thank you, Regina. I do clean up good, don't I? <laughs> But enough about me. Let's discuss my plan for a more diversified physical fitness program. Oh, don't look at me. He wasn't Brian Gumble when he left the house this morning. <laughs> something, something, you know, just to kind of help you with those little pencils and crayons. You know, all that crazy stuff you artists need, you know. Well, you're right. We ain't nothing without our supplies. <laughs> you took the money. Yeah, this this will buy us a lot of brushes. <laughs> oh, got to go, Mr. Hightower. <laughs> Don't go. Hey. You got something in your eye. <laughs> yeah. You. Romeo, what are you doing here? Hey, Mr. Hightower, I did what you told me. I finally stood up to my pops, and I told him I'm putting myself back in college prep. Oh, yeah, what happened? Said I could do whatever I wanted. Well, that's great. As long as I'm not living under his roof, so, uh, guess I'm gonna have to stay here. <laughs> and then Lawrence would have to save him. You know, Romeo, you keep messing up my flow. This boy might have to save you. Okay? Now I'm an artist. I can't work like this. Right? One more time. What do you care, Hightower? I'm just trying to look out for you. You know, you ain't been fine long enough to know all the game. <laughs> it's on, man. Oh, it's on. Cool, <laughs> cool, man. I'm glad y'all doing the show. You see, this is what it's all about. Yeah. Brotherhood. That's right. Friendship. Uh -huh. Besides, I already had 500 t-shirts made up. <laughs> yeah, go on. Uh, scratch my back for me, that baby. Okay, dear. Oh, uh, yeah, hold up. No, wait a minute. Hold up. Stop. Stop! If that's how you feel, Stephen, you know we can just break this off right here. Woo. You are out there. Just way out there. But shoo, by yourself. That's why I don't like telling you nothing. Cause see, I knew you was gonna go there, act all immature about the whole situation. Oh, now I resent that. I'm a very mature person. Each and every day, I'm entrusted with the care of young, impressionable minds. But since I don't see any of them here, Steve and Piggy sitting in the tree. K I S S R E T. You're a teacher? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What about yourself? I'm a stockbroker. Oh, so what you in for? Some of that insider trader stuff? No. Uh, my story's too long. Besides, I am not responsible for my heinous bloody act. My dog <laughs> told me to do it. <laughs> Mr. Hightower, when did you become the angel of death? I'm fine. Fine. Look at you. You have always taken such pride in your appearance, and now 
I just want to give you a squeegee. My DNA stands for this Negro's attractive. <laughs> you can use me, baby. Well, actually, I was hoping you could come and provide the music. You do know something without the words funky or booty, don't you? Oh, I get to come play at your parents' wedding? Oh, maybe I could come by early and snap the peas and wash off the collar. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, you better behave yourself before I just snap, turn out this whole app <laughs> okay, Look, Regina, I realize that being around me in my natural habitat will probably be really difficult for you. But girl, look, I'll help you through it. I tell you what, I'll even keep my shirt on when I'm using my ab roller. <laughs> Who said, you saw the Lion King. <laughs> Tell that boy about the circle of life. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute here. Listen, now I done shared a hotel room with Barry White and Luther. I done heard every noise can come out of a human body and that ain't one of them. <laughs> I'm Steve Hightower and I won't be needing any appointments. You see, the principal and I kind of have a little special personal relationship. Really? Well, I've been all up in her office, and I ain't seen no picture of you. <laughs> you know what you should try? Some of Seti's Raisin Bread French Toast. It's the bomb. We must have done ate half the loaf. <laughs> you must have did done ate the whole loaf. <laughs> no eggs, no bacon, no sausage. Ooh, look! Some macaroni and cheese with a green afro. <laughs> <laughs> Is the cable out? Cedric, did you pay the bill? Of course I paid the bill. Did you put money in your checking account? Oh. <laughs> Let me talk to you for a minute here. This is uh, concerning the mentoring program. I'm assigned to you because uh, you're at risk. Me? Nah, I'm cool. Son, I've seen your grades. You more at risk than the last chicken wing at the Levert family reunion. Mr. Hightower, them shoes is the only chance I have of becoming a Big Mac. <laughs> Look at here. The only chance you got of becoming a Big Mac is if you spread special sauce all over yourself. But listen, what you need to do is go out and get yourself a job, because ain't nobody in their right mind gonna buy none of this junk. Hey, Willie. Thanks for the shade. <laughs> I got news for you, Sid. These ain't my friends. This your future family. <laughs> Just guess how they got in. Ooh. Hey, Steve. Hey, Sid. Y'all got a nice laundry room? Clinique, Kame, y'all know better than that. Now, if y'all gonna jump on that couch, take those shoes off. <laughs> Sid. You got five seconds to get the cast of Good Times out of here. Oh. oh, you poor thing. Are you in pain? I'm trying to be brave, Miss Greer, but it's hard. Oh, wait a minute, boy. Don't be leaning your crooked parted head up on the principal. I'll run your fade down to your ankles. Clyde, it's me, Steve Hightower. <laughs> Steve, how you be, baby? Good to see you. Hot tops are back. I told you that we was mad at Steve, remember? Jive turkey. That's all right, Clyde. I ain't mad at you. You ain't got but eight brain cells left. <laughs> kind of like getting mad at an ashtray. Let me see how manly you can be by yourself. Fine, storm out. Slam the door. <laughs> Go ahead, all frustrated. That's because you're holding back your feelings for Big Daddy. Steve, Warrington is not just some guy. I almost married him. You almost married him? Regina, how could you not tell me something like this? I told you all about me and Thelma from good times. <laughs> Regina, you have some explaining to do. Steve, I don't have to explain anything to you. You don't pay my rent and you don't buy my clothes. Oh, thanks, Steve, but Saturday's my birthday and uh, we've already made plans. 
course, we could cancel our private jet to New York, dinner and seats to a Broadway opening with Bill and Camille. <laughs> Why you always dropping names? You know, you drop more names than a $10 snitch. <laughs> you know, back in the day, I could have dropped your name. <laughs> Later, Buttercup. You better tell your little watered-down Greg Gumbel boyfriend to check yourself. Or he gonna wind up getting beat down like Mark Furman cutting in line at a Popeye's. I gotta give it to you, brother. This is a nice ride. Mm -hmm, it is. It's a beautiful car. Well, it's yours. Happy anniversary, baby. Nice car, Warren. Ed, too cheap to put in the phone. Oh, look! It has a hidden phone. <laughs> I hate this guy. <laughs> hey, man, hold, 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 hold. Your mouth just wrote a check that your used to support 200 pound feet can't cash. <laughs> and besides, I'm the brother that taught said all his moves. Say hey, what? <laughs> Dog, you might as well say hello to Tattoo, because you straight up on Fantasy Island. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah? Oh, well, it's on now. Levita, huh? just got yourself a partner. Hi. Hey. And you two can get ready to pucker up and kiss that trophy goodbye. You got to help me. It's Tiffany. She is driving me crazy. How can I put this to you delicately? That heifer is Ben. <laughs> Steve, come on. She just lost her confidence as a woman, and she needs to feel more desirable. Would you do me a favor? Take her out? <laughs> oh, no. Ain't no way you can forget that. She ain't even my type. And besides, if I take her out, she gonna get all mesmerized, caught up in me, probably go into a little fatal attraction on me. You know, it didn't happen to Big Daddy before. Okay, that's him. All right, and everybody just, you know, act God for you and, you know, try to make up a name of church that you go to. <laughs> Son! Pop, <laughs> 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 oh, why you dressed like that? Who you trying to be, Puff Granddaddy? <laughs> is this your surprise? No, this is. Son, I'd like you to meet my future wife, Jasmine. Thanks again for dinner, Steve. Well, good night, Max. Come here, Romeo. Come here. If you ever come to my building again, they ain't gonna ever find you or the doorman. And so, the uh, history of Motown was made on that day when uh, Diana Ross turned to Barry Gordy and said... You stupid idiot! What kind of agent are you? <laughs> Mr. Hightower, I have to take that call. They want me to star in the new movie version of Spunky and the Man. You need to go harass little Rudy from the Cosby show. She ain't working. <laughs> Now, Mindy, I'm teaming you up with Romeo and Bullethead on your music project. I'm really sorry about yesterday in the car. Isn't there anything I could do to make it up to you? The only way you could possibly redeem yourself, Romeo, is if you don't say anything to anybody. Because if you do, I will find you and I will kill you. Tyler, you can't talk to me like that. You're supposed to be a role model. I will find you and I will kill you. <laughs> Hey, look, man, Regina's right, man. We ought to judge Derek by his talent. I mean, that's what America's supposed to be about, ain't it? Ain't that what we marched for in the 60s? Hey, look, what do we know about this guy, huh? For all I know, that imitation Derek Love could have faked the tape. <laughs> look, man, why don't we just let him sing? And if he sounds as good as he did on the tape, then he's in. Agreed? It's done. It's over. I blew it. Look at you, playing right in the warranty's hands. OK, man, so what am I supposed to do? I don't know. But ain't nobody ever hit a home run sitting in the dugout. I don't know, Sid. Dog, this may be your last chance up to the plate. You better get in there and take your cuts, my brother. You know something, Sid? You might be right. You damn right I'm right. Now look me in the eye and tell me who the man. 
I'm the man. Now, who would you want? Piggy Grill. What you got to do? I'm going to get him. That's right. See, that's the voice of Big Daddy. Big Daddy! <laughs> I'm going to get my woman. Yeah, go get that woman. Hit that. <laughs> 23. Busted. <laughs> Can I have some more chips, please? It serves you right. I told you not to bet all your chips. Now, I'm not buying you any more chips. I don't know. Nothing turns Piggy on like a high roller. I'm going to write this bad check and get you some more chips. <laughs> yeah, boy, you really came through this time. You still my ace. <laughs> Hey, home slice. These tickets ain't real. Yeah, but this is. Oh, bro, come on now. OJ riding around on a golf cart in Brentwood, and you gonna take us in? Can you put your hand behind your head, please, sir? Yeah, but I mean, but look here, hey, bro, before you do the terribly, terribly wrong thing, you need to ask yourself, do you really want to take two drug-free, gainfully employed black woman dating brothers to jail? <laughs> 